Hello everyone and welcome to Saturday. I had a good sleep and it's now, uh, it's actually a little later now, it's noon. I haven't really gotten too started on the day. Um, Emil's been working on putting together his desk. Because yesterday it was just kind of, I can't say it was half done. It was two thirds done. From L to U. Actually, yeah, it was an L and now it's become a U. Or an N, really, depending on the way you're looking Captain at it. Captain N or Wii U. Two Nintendo references in one, that's pretty good. Um, we're gonna be going, we are sure, for sure going out to the mall today, right? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go to uh, a mall and do some stuff. I don't know, eat, food, do thing, shop, place. Should be fun. And then we'll probably come back here in the evening and um, uh, maybe record something or uh, something like that. So, desk looks good. Room looks good, to be honest. Some of the stuff's moving out of the floor, and um, I, I did mention it yesterday, but there's going to be new mic stands. Um, actually, uh, I mean, I ordered the same ones we have, so you guys have seen them and you know what they look like. Um, so, if we have those positioned around the room, uh, it should be all right. I don't know. We, I mean, one of the things that we didn't test is recording four people in here at the same time, but I'm, I'm pretty hopeful that it'll continue to sound pretty good, so here's hoping. We're at the mall, and as you can see, there's like really high resolution text, and I, I, hope, I hope, I think you can tell on the camera, but behind it is an image that's super, super low resolution, and it looks like it was on a white backdrop at some point, and they didn't even remove all of the, the stuff you can see in the center there. This is crazy. What, what's the name of this mall? Sugar Sugarloaf. Sugarloaf. It's like you think if you were going to spend all the money to have this mural created, you would actually make the resolution consistent throughout. <laughs> yeah, this is a little weird. And it's like that all over. It's just like super low resolution images over, like with super high resolution text. You would have thought that if they had, you know, paid people to like do that, that they would have made like custom artwork for it or something. I've been coming to this well, mall nah, for you years, know. and I have literally never noticed that. It I've just, never actually looked up. It is Has like, it been up there for years? I would imagine Yeah, so. maybe. I don't know. I didn't notice it. But just like, nah, we're going to make a really expensive mural. It's going to cost so much money to print. We'll just take clip art from Windows 95 and run with it. <laughs> <laughs> you win! Yay! Hooray! Hi. We both died. Hi. Oh, I ate the most ghosts. I didn't do it. We're at Dave and Buster's. We had lunch, we walked around the mall, and now we're playing games. Games that I lose. Claw I have ever seen. Oh, this is a bad machine. Wow. Uh, let's go for that. I'm not gonna go for that Butterfinger anymore. That's what I was gonna try for. No, didn't get anything. Oh, wait. oh my god. What the heck is that thing? Wait, what is it? Why is it going all around? To give it a chance to fall out. Oh, what? Oh my god. Oh, oh wow. I'm, I thought it was oh. just gonna drop it right in, so it's that it topples over. Oh, there's oh, a lot of stuff coming. Should I give it another go? Yeah, you could. Let's, uh, let's go as far up into the right as possible. There's a lot of stuff towering here that no. Oh, wait. Oh. You got a whopper. I don't know how that's going to help me. Oh, oh! Got yeah, you got a lollipop. Uh, it's a shame because there is there's so much stuff like on the edge. Some time has passed. Uh, we came back to the house and uh, Amir wanted to record something for his channel. We just finished doing so. We haven't thrown it in Premiere and, and tested it, but presumably everything still sounds good because it's the same setup and nothing has changed. Um, I just realized that the, kind of a big portion of our day, 45 minutes of our day, I didn't talk about. Um, whenever we went to the mall, there was a store, store? 
store. It's, it's a storefront. It's called Mystery Room. And uh, I don't know how many there are. I think Emil had said that there's a few like out west or something. I, I, there's something similar out west, but it's not Mystery Room. So Mystery Room is just here. It's just here, and I think there's a few others in other places, but I'm not sure. Okay, so also, <laughs> I should probably, Masay is on the floor because we had to use her chair. It's not just, she, you're not just sitting on the floor for your health. He said that town hall. Shh. You can't have the chair. Anyway, um, this mystery room thing um, was actually really cool. The concept was they lock you in a room and they give you like a single clue and then there's stuff in the room and you have to like use the clue to figure out where the other clues are and go from there, blah, blah, blah. Um, but unfortunately, you weren't allowed to video in there or take photos, so we couldn't actually show in, inside of there. But um, there was a single picture that I have here um, that I'll show you guys on screen. When you complete the room, if you can do it, they take your picture and they put it like on the board or online or whatever. So uh, we took this amazing, amazing photo <laughs> when it was all said and done. We actually did manage to beat it with uh, four minutes and nine seconds left. 45 minutes on the clock and we did all right. They also asked you for a team name and we told them that we were Team Fortress 2. Yeah! The girl spelled Fortress wrong. Wait, did she? She did, but what? she tried. How it's, did she spell it? It's pretty close. No. Instead of spelling fortress, she spelled fort rest in one <laughs> word. But yeah, it's pretty close. Yeah. Close enough. Anyway. Emil, what did you think of Mystery Room, by the way? We're vlogging it now just for the fact that we oh. had like, talked about it. Oh, it was great. I was happy that we actually won. <laughs> yeah, it was just unfortunate we couldn't film it, but... Yeah, they didn't want anyone knowing the answers, though. It was hard. It was. It was hard. For Honest to God, like... 20 to 25 minutes, we didn't actually make any progress at all. It was like for the writing on the wall, and we're like, okay. But we, best, we, we did it. The best thing was I had the writing on the wall clue right in the first place. We just misinterpreted it, and I got it right immediately. Yeah, there, right, right at the beginning, Emil was like, it's literally writing on the wall. And he started like looking around for writing on the wall. And I was like, no, it's more metaphorical. You were like looking in the paintings and stuff? I was, yeah, I was looking for all sorts of stuff, and Emil actually right. Anyway. Listen to me. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm rarely right. <laughs> you were right this time. We got magic cards because I wanted to teach uh, Masay and Emil how to play magic. And we got the dual deck. What's it called? It's Elspeth versus Kiora. I'm really pleased with this dual deck. I've never seen this dual deck. I haven't seen really the full deck list for any dual decks. But like this is really good. It's been really, really close and there's been a lot going on. Um, Emil's playing blue and green and Masay is playing white. It's yeah. like a white soldier jack deck, and there's a lot of control going on over here, which has been really, really cool. Um, and like both of them just get it because they have a Pokemon trading card game background. It's been really awesome to see them just like grab it immediately. <laughs> so, so what's happening on your turn right now? I am contemplating what to do. I think that, I, okay, I, I actually have a question. Sure. Okay, if I, attack with like everyone right sure. now just like mm -hmm. can i throw can i attack and still throw the javelin you won't be able to do that because you have to tap him in order to attack okay okay that's what i was wondering, yeah. I was wondering if that yeah, actually it's, counts. it's either tap to attack or tap to throw the javelin yeah. so you've got to decide if you want to throw that javelin okay then i do want to throw that javelin actually okay right? so I'll you just do that. you tap it you remove the javelin counter, which is a little piece of paper. You choose <laughs> a target seat. creature or player. I'm just throwing it at Emil. Ah! Emil, I'm assuming that you have no way to deal with that. Mm. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so Emil's life total goes down to 13. Yeah. And then I will just... You can, you can also attack if you'd like. Yeah. I'll just attack. Stop. Okay. Going all in. So you're gonna turn these guys. This guy is also here. No. This this guy is tapped because yeah, he's, he's yeah. He's tapped. This guy can attack if you like. He's a two-two. But I, I understand know. that if he yeah. dies, the snake comes back, and you're scared of the snake. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> snake, snake can go screw itself. So you're attacking with three. These yes. um, are not getting the bonus because the battle cry guy is gone actually. So these are one ones. Well, actually, they're one twos, two threes, one two. Mm hmm. Okay. Emil? I'm a little curious as to why you're not attacking your biggest guy. 
because he's he's summoning sick. He oh, he's just, summoning sick, right? He okay. just came out. Right. Okay. So, Trust me, I'll see him soon. Oh, I will. Yeah. <laughs> so now, Emil, you've got to decide what you're going to do. Yeah. And I'm familiar with Emil's cards, and I know exactly what's running through his head. And it doesn't. He he didn't. Oh, great. Things didn't work out exactly like he had hoped. I'm sure, but I'm sure he's still not too worried about it. So he's tapped four mana. And why have you done that? Playing an instant. Etherize, return all attacking monsters to the owner's hand. Yeah, ret yeah, return all attacking creatures oh. to their owner's hand. So any creatures that are attacking get returned to hand. And soldiers can't be returned to hand, so they're just eliminated from play. Well, tokens. Because these are tokens, tokens. because they were created with okay. a sorcery card, they just cease to exist. Yes. They don't go into the discard. They're just oh. over... They're just yeah. back, yeah. Yeah, they're over here somewhere. So, that gets thrown over here. If you would have had a way to respond to that, you could have. Yeah, but I don't. Yeah, I'm assuming you don't. That's why I was so happy that she only had one untapped mana when she was doing that turn, because I'm just like, she doesn't have much of a way to respond to that with one mana. See, Emil would have loved if you would have attacked with everyone. Because yeah. Because if you would have attacked with everyone, I was they all would have been gone. I was gone. hoping you were going to keep the javelin for like a situation where maybe I was down to like one health or something like that, so I could have just done that. You would have gotten the javelin back when you played him down, but that would have still cost you next turn to do. Yeah. Gotcha. So. Man, the battlefield looks much, Man, much, uh, much different. Mail. <laughs> it's down to six to four. It was six to two, but Emil had a uh, creature that gives him life whenever land comes into play. Right now, things have gotten a little absurd. Emil has a seven-seven snake and a six-six whale. Well, kraken, whatever the balls are, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and he has an antelope, which is the most important card. Um, lots of land on the table. Emil, it's your turn. So, what I think, okay, I do kind of want your opinion, because this is my first game, and I just want to make sure there's nothing I'm not realizing in the rules. Sure. Should I, I'm thinking I'm just going to go for declaring everyone as attackers to maximize damage. She has nothing in her hand, so I know she can't play an instant, and if by some crazy chance that doesn't work, I have this thing, which could be used to get a guaranteed... Okay. Um, if you do that, if you, if you declare all of these people as attackers, mm -hmm. you have four attackers. Yeah. She has three blockers, so something's going through. Okay. Obviously, she's going to block the big guys, because yes. otherwise she's screwed. Yeah. Um, but something's going to go through, which means one of these guys is so going to go I through. So I declare these three it's, attackers. It would, it would go, if you declare all four, and she blocks three, these guys are going to, so one of these is going to go through, so she's going to take two damage. I know. That That's the, what's going to happen. Okay. What would happen if you played that card in your hand first? If I just did that first, then... What would happen? I would just win the game. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So, okay. So, in that case, I tap two water. I tap this. I play Whelming Wave. If a monster is, is not a Leviathan, a Kraken, an Octopus, or a Serpent, it is eliminated from play. Wait! Or goes back to your hand. Yeah, return all creatures to their owner's hands except for sea creatures. And this is a kraken. So, so everything goes back to their to the opponent's hands. The token creatures are evaporated because they don't exist. And my kraken does six damage. I've won the game, and you yeah. have nothing to block with. Essentially, that's what happens. The kraken is the only thing left on the battlefield. All this stuff would go to your hand too. What? The Kraken is the only thing around. The of the game. He's had that since the beginning of the game. He almost used it. And if you would have used it earlier, this would never have happened. I'm glad it didn't. So that's the only thing left. Swing six. Boom. Burp, 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 burp. Boom. But you know what? That was a spectacular game. I'm losing everything today. That was a really long game. That and I'm, long. I'm actually surprised it went as long as it did because it's been about 90 minutes. And that 90 minutes for one game shattered. is really... Really? Oh, oh! Does it do that? Yeah, the glass shattered. Oh, that's funny. Uh, yeah, ninety minutes for a game of Magic is extremely long. But I was also explaining the rules during that time, I was, so that's why. Yeah, I was trying to like see if there was like anything that I was missing. That like I was like, dude, would I really win the game if I did that? Because you're like, it's like going to be a turn or two, and I'm like, are you just saying that so she doesn't know what's coming? Or? <laughs> well, whenever that's, you were that's... talking about attacking first, yeah. I was like, okay, well, this you're going to do two damage, and I was like, what if you played it first? And you're like, I'll win. And I'm like. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had win. a feeling as soon as you pulled the camera out, I was just like, oh. I well, got something. To be that, fair. That reminds me of Catan, so I was <laughs> done. I was yeah. like, oh, great. This entire thing was a roller coaster, though, because the entire time I kept going back and forth, like, oh, wow, you know, he's got it. She's when got you, it. He's got when it. you said, okay, you did say at one point that you declared a winner. Who did you declare in your head at the time? At the time I said that, it was you. Mm hmm. 
Although a few seconds later, that it was... occurred to me, some, I don't know what you had, but you had something, and I was like, crap, actually, she is a fine chance of doing this. And the life totals came down around the same speed the entire game, so. Except at the beginning when I was demolishing. Him. Yeah, actually, <laughs> well, yeah. When green comes, it comes. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Masay got Emil down to 10? <laughs> I think. 10 to 20. Yeah. You got it, got him down to ten before Emil ever started doing damage, but I was fighting my time. Yeah, worked out. Yay! So, what do you guys think of Magic? I love it. I would like to play it. Yeah, it is fun. It's yeah. a very fun game. So, I'm impressed by this. Maybe we will get a chance to play another game in the morning. We'll see what happens. I right now, I wake up early for it. Okay. I don't wake up early for anything. I don't wake up early for this. Um, <laughs> I don't we, wake up at the crack of dawn. It is, it is super, super late, so I'm going to go to bed. I do have to leave out tomorrow. No. But we'll get up early and see if we can do a few things in the morning. So. Yeah. Sound good? I will, I will wake up. I will be up somehow. Somewhere. <laughs> I, will be up. I will be a zombie, but I will be up. That's it for today. Good night! You're going to ruin this, so why don't you end the vlog? Yay! Okay. <laughs> I'm feeling pressure. I feel pressure. No! <laughs> Mine! Mine! <laughs> Let's meet back. How does it go? Friendship is magic, the gathering. I hate you. Let's meet back here tomorrow, shall we? Was that right? There was an extra word in there, but you know what? That is better than a meal has ever done. Mm -hmm. I feel proud of myself. I am. I want something. I want something today. I want the outro. Yeah. It wasn't air hockey, but it was something. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> is that a ginormous walk-in closet? It's, it's bigger than you think it is, actually. Oh, what the? What the? What you, uh? <laughs> you can rent this place. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> this is this is crazy. Wait, where are you picking? Are you picking us up on the beach? Yeah. I am, okay. Yeah, I'm going to the beach. Don't land Oh god! Oh blitz. jeez! Oh jeez! <laughs> <laughs> I, I almost landed in- I action. I almost landed into the blades. <laughs> Why would you do that? No! <laughs> <laughs>